let's say you are troubleshooting an offense that you are testing and the events are coming let's say that this is can be on your curator community edition machine for is more appropriate for doing this test or you might be testing this in a production environment regardless you are inundated by a bunch of events coming probably hundreds of thousands per minute in a, in a normal environment and you from that you want to quickly filter the ones that you want to be working on the offense so one simple way of actually doing that there's a filter condition if you go here into add filter called associated with offense in fact if you put the word offense here remember that you're going to find that one associated with offense if you select that filter uh, let me go back in time 30 minutes ago then you get only those events that contributed to the actual offense that you are debugging in case that more than one comes remember you can always go to the particular offense the particular event rather and see the rules that actually match that one let's return to that one this is a standard rule from UBA let's actually go on this one and we actually see the actual this is actually the one that I was actually working with treat backdoor Trojans and virus events as offenses so that's uh, tip number one it's actually it's actually um, let me do a thing let me return to the event list and uh, let's say that I want to save this search and you'll see why I'm going to call this one test one I'm just going to save it now uh, the other day I got somebody asking me how do you do or conditions when you do the searches actually very simple but the name is not really there uh, to show you so let me click on log activity uh, let me click all the filters that I have so you see you know more activity in here and let's say that you want to search for something where any one of two source IPs or log sources or whatever is the condition are met you want to do the or of them so again you can go here search a new search or you can just add the filter right here and then let me look for a source IP that's this one and instead of selecting equal the condition here is equal any of okay, so you have not seen that one if I put 172.16.60.58 and add that one and another one might be 172.16.60.2 which is the gateway which is less usual any any event that has any one of those uh, is actually going to to be found and you can put of course more conditions so if you add the filter and you go back in time you know, 15 minutes or so you see that you know because this was related to the 158 it made the criteria let me actually save that one as well let's call this test 2 now the reason I save this is when you save the searches if I go here into edit search if, if I look for the test 1 condition that we say before notice that I get these buttons here highlighted that load to load the, load the search delete for deleting of course this one is the one I want to show you show AQL and this is a way for you to get initiated into learning AQL so notice that this is sel this is selecting QID name QID as and is putting all everything that you t every time you see the as in the AQL statement is put in a column so standard uh, AQL stuff and then there are more components more columns log source name and then is using this function to get the log source ID as log source and event count as event count start time so you see all the columns that are associated in it and then in the end here is the condition that we want to be met where is the condition here has offense and that's the name of the, of the property is equal to true and then you order that by uh, time to look for the last uh, 30 seconds and you can actually copy this to a clipboard in case that you are doing some 
Python programming and want to do some API calls, SQL is the way to go. So I want to make sure that you, you know, uh, take a look at this and get yourself familiarized with uh, AQL. And if you don't, if you don't know AQL, you can build the search manually, and then this provides you the actual command. Same thing for the other one that we did, uh, test two. Actually, didn't need to double click. Just click once and then show AQL, same thing. All the columns and then where source IP equal or remember or source IP here is clearly seen that this is an OR condition. 